Welcome back to another Learning Layer segment. We are continuing our conversation with Joe Kerrigan as he gets ready for his CISSP. Joe. Yep. Welcome back. Thanks. Uh, let's talk Domain 6. Indeed. And how we're going to do that is like what we did for Domain 5. Let's do a question together. Let's do it live. I'll put you on the spot and see. Uh, give your content knowledge a test. So why don't you start by reading the question? Ah, very good. Like like I'm taking the exam and yes, sweating. Yes, tell us, tell us what's going through your head. So first, I'm, I'm going to read the word of the actual question. Mm -hmm. It is, you are hiring a vendor to perform a penetration test that would simulate a breach from an insider threat. What type of test would be best to perform? And the word BEST is in all caps. Okay, and what does it mean that the word BEST is in all caps? That what means, does that signal to you? That means that it, there are probably multiple answers that you could give here that would be kind of correct. Yeah. But one of them is going to be more correct than the rest of them. That's right. And also, sometimes it means there's not a perfect answer. Right. And you might have to choose one that is, you know, technically right. It's all relative to how right it is compared to the other ones. <laughs> Right. So in a weird way, I like to say, if you see BEST in all caps, it's going to be a hard question. Yeah. Joe, what's going through your head when you read this situation? Summarize what's happening, and then what are you looking for? So immediately, I remember from the lecture and actually from, you know, a lifetime of doing this, mm -hmm. uh, there are, you can have three different kinds of tests. Really, there's two different kinds of tests and then a hybrid, right? There's a black box test, which is where you know nothing about the environment and you're just going to test it. There's a white box test where you know everything about the environment, and you're going to test it. And then there is a what they call a gray box test, which is where you have something that you know about the environment. Maybe you have some knowledge, but you don't have other parts of it. The thing that sticks out in my head is it's an insider threat. Mm -hmm. So they don't specify that it's like an administrative insider threat. Okay. They just say insider threat. So if you're going to do a pen test... Uh, and you're going to emulate an external actor, you do a black box test. Yep. If you're going to do a pen test and you're going to emulate a an internal administrator or privileged user, you do a white box test. If you're going to emulate just a standard user, a non-privileged user, that's when you do the gray box test. So immediately, my answer to the question before I look at the options is gray box test. Awesome. Love that approach. Joe, is gray box one of the choices? It is not. <laughs> oh, hate <laughs> when that happens. Okay. That's, that's very frustrating. There are four choices, and two of them I uh, I immediately eliminate. Okay. One being the blue box test. Okay. Because I, I don't know what the blue box test is. I, maybe that's what you put in the recycling bin. <laughs> Those are blue around here. Okay. Um, and then the other box, or the other answer I eliminate is the white hat hack, mm -hmm. which is... That's a that's more of a security research kind of thing. Mm -hmm. It's not not really a um, not really a, a, a test, mm -hmm. and it doesn't fall into white box, black box, or gray box. That's right. But the other two answers are black box and white box. Gray box is not selected, not 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 listed rather. So now I'm down to these two these two answers: black box and white box. The question is, which test would be the best to perform? Well, a black box would not do a very good job of emulating any kind of uh, internal attacker. Yep. A white box might be overkill for a non-privileged user, but it would be a good test for a privileged user. So I'm going to select white box. Nice. And drum roll, please. That is, of course, the right answer. All right. Nice work, Joe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No applause, please. Good work on Domain 6. We'll do it again next week. We'll talk about Domain 7. And I'm going to try to bring a question that's going to stump you, okay? Oh, okay. I would I would like to have that. <laughs> that's right. When you get a question wrong, it's a learning moment. There yes, you go. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. We'll see you in Domain 7. Domain 7.